Hey yo, I'm Izzy Noodles and I left Babylon is Fallen right at this room here. So, if we proceed on the left, there is a box. And inside the box, there are some poison tipped arrows, which are the best kind of arrows. And also, this funny looking thing that looks like a laser beam. It's not a laser beam, <laughs> it's just a tank of water. I was very scared about it the first time I played, I couldn't work it out. <laughs> but if we look inside this room, there's a button guarded by spikes. And also we can see that this guy in the corner here, he shouldn't really be there. So let's pull him out and work out where he's supposed to be. I think these are supposed to be lions. They're a bit different to the other lion statues we've seen, but that's that's not a bad thing. That's just new textures. It saves on repetition. So if we come to here, we can see that there's a, a lion statue there, but there's not one here. So this must be where this guy goes. So we push him in. There we go. But the spike traps are still going, so that means there's someone else that's not where they should be. And that's this guy hiding behind this bush. So he's not got as far as as far to be pushed along. So pull him out once. And he needs to be pulled along twice. But we need to pull him and then go around the back of him and push him. Okay. And if you listen, the spikes have stopped. So now we can go press the button. And the button allows us access into the water area. It's also given us a cutscene of where we've already been. Which you'd think that's a bit bizarre. Okay, so now we can go grab I think that's Michael's reward. So the um, this was a trapdoor that would be closed, but it's open now. We've pushed the button. Here's Michael's reward. And if we swim up to find out why we were shown that cutscene, let's have a look. Find out why. Okay, so before we didn't have access to these arrows awesome that's actually a secret so if you actually came out of the water there is actually nowhere to go all the doors are closed everything is closed off so we have to continue the way we came in the area we now are okay So we've got two out of three gems, reward gems. So we can leave this room if I can find the exit. Here we go. My goodness, there are stairs here. <laughs> I've just noticed there are stairs. Oh dear. Anyway, we come out. We now need our torch. We need to take our lit torch up to the top. So, we can light this pedestal here. We can see what that did. We can see where Lara is compared to where that is. That's up the top there. And on the ground, you can see there is another tile. We need to raise that tile, just like we did the, with that higher one. Except the lower one is timed, and the lever is behind that fence just there. So let me just because you need to pull the lever so you can't have the torch in your hand so I like to leave my torch around here 
So to be able to just drop it, you need to select a weapon. You can just press the numbers to select a weapon, but I'm using a gamepad. So select your weapon and she will leave it right where she's standing instead of just lobbing it. <laughs> so to get to the torch, so this is the room we've just been in and you take a left. Here we are. And I often save to save me lining myself back up because I hate timers. So every time you pull this it will show you what it does. So just press the look button. I always sprint to the corner, let go, sprint some more. I missed it. Ah, I probably won't get it now. Okay, so grab your torch. I am definitely not going to make this run. I am just going to start again. I failed. But anyway, while I'm here, I will show you. When you want to jump onto the block in this corner. Jump onto here, around here. So you can do a running jump or maybe a half tile jump. Like so. So you land on the ledge that's right above there. It's difficult to see and difficult to explain. It's not that difficult to do. Might take a few attempts. But it's really not that difficult. So every time it will show you what it does. Part back, look button, sprint. Okay, we're doing alright. Don't forget to grab your torch. Oh no. Quick. Okay, jump to here. Turn. Half tile jump. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Doing good. Okay. Run and jump. Yes, yes, yes. That was the sixth attempt. It usually takes a while. I've only done it on the first attempt once. So I think, yeah, we've already been here. So this is that passageway. Just throw the torch through and then crawl through. Okay, so we can get our bearings. This is the hole in the ceiling, right up here. And through there, straight across, that is where we will place all three gems that we collect. And we want to take the torch through the double doors just here. And you can hear the blade, so be careful. You can just see it there. There it is. Lob your torch down. And I always take a fair few hops back because you want to try and roll. Sometimes you just, you don't roll, but you just get it so she's about to do the animation and she will go through the gap. Otherwise, that little section is a bit too small. She needs to kind of crawl through it. Okay, so sprinting and then roll. Yes, I just missed the opportunity, but she went to go into the animation, which is why I made it. Otherwise she kind of, sometimes she just stops. So now we want to take the torch through the double doors. Let's hope I open the doors instead of pick up the torch. Yes. Okay, so straight ahead. You can see a lever, but for now we're going to ignore it. So come to the back and you want to lob your torch into the dip. I've missed it. Where's my torch? Here it is. Lob your torch into the lower block. There we go. Perfect. And now we want to pull the lever. So let's have a look and see what that did that's raised that block so our torch is now up on that higher level and this whole time you might be wondering why is there a hole in the ceiling it's a shortcut that is why so this can be difficult 
to get back over. You want to do a running jump. Okay. Perfect. It's not too difficult. Just practice and you'll definitely get it easily eventually. So remember, this is where we fought that first harpy back in part five. This is the higher level. And we come through here. We didn't go through this bit yet because there was nothing to do. But now we have the torch. Here's the torch. And we can ignite this pedestal. Which will open that door. So lob your torch down. We will still need it so don't lose it. And we can pick up this. So that is an anti-spike trap key. It looks a lot different to the last one. But it shows us where to use it anyway if you're not sure what it is. Okay, so that area it's just shown us. I've not yet been there because there was no need to until now. So now we're going there. So to grab your torch, don't forget that. Okay. So, just here, you want to lob your torch down. Have a look, make sure you don't lose it. And there it goes. And I'm going to take a different route down because I'm going to go and grab a secret. So if you come to the end, walk all the way forward and you can see the green ledge. So to grab that ledge you actually want to run and press the action. You don't want to jump, you just run and press the action. Don't go forward and press action otherwise she'll miss and she'll take full damage she will land straight on the ledge where she is right now and right here it's a secret we've got some shotgun shells and the shotgun will be very important later on so you want all the shotgun shells okay so here's the torch and we want to come back to the water Okay, so straight across this little bridge and then straight on up here. Okay, so this is where I might need my health. Well, near here, not quite yet. I need to open the door. So just pop your torch down. Use the spike trap key. Okay, and now grab your torch because this bit's fairly self-explanatory that you need to light these things. Okay. And you can hear a gate open. That gate is literally right here. Okay. And you can see straight in front there, that is the last reward. That is Hanania's reward walk to the edge and jump back so you've got your running jump and you definitely want to save this bit can be incredibly difficult so when your thing comes to the corner you to run and jump jump run and jump keep running to the left no I was so close oh okay so wait till your spike comes to the corner run and jump jump, run and jump yes alright so the reason I've come to the left is because when you do your run and jump you can land straight on top of the gem, pick it up and get out of there <laughs> so once you pick it up I often go to that corner straight in front So not taking any damage yet, so th that's good. So this is what you want your health for, just in case you get clipped. So wait for the blade to come to the corner. Run and jump. Press action, pick it up. Oh. 
Oh, good. Still no damage taken at this section. So, there is a large med pack in here. I'm doing very good. I'm on a roll. Not usually. So this bit's slightly harder. Also, the plant's in the way. So press your lock button, wait for the blade at the corner. I always forget my routine, but run and jump. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> like I said, I always forget my routine for this bit. But eventually, I will get it. That wasn't it. Okay, that looked really easy. It actually wasn't. Sometimes you can run through, you know, the, the curved bars that the blades are on. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's very trial and error, that bit. You can find a routine, but that last stretch back, it's difficult. <laughs> but anyway, now we have all three rewards. We have whose reward? We have Azaria's reward, Michael's reward, and Hanania's reward. So if we jump into the water and come back through this way, she's got a shoelace caught on the bars again. Take that secret passage near the boulder again. Up here, here we go. Okay. So if you just press the action button, she knows which reward goes where. Okay, that was Michael's. This is Hanania's. And Azaria's. So when we come into this room, behind the statue, we approach the cage, it opens. And this is tablet number two. Remember it was a while ago when we got tablet number one. So now we can leave this area. We've got a load screen. So that means Lara's health is straight back up. And when we come out of the water, we will be back in a very familiar place. So we've, we've just been shown where to put the two tablets that we've got. And you may have just noticed Lara got swept off to the right. That is because, you see, we're back in the fountain room. If you'd gone down that little passageway in the water to start with, whoops, back in the water, you wouldn't be able to actually get there. You would have just been um, trying to swim continuously and not getting anywhere. So try and get rid of this guy. It can take a while to get rid of him. So, we leave the area that we entered the very first time we got to the area, the fountain room, down the steps. Okay, so here we go. We've got one receptacle on the left hand side. And the second one, light in my way, the second one is on the right hand side. Okay. Oh, my stupid plant. So that has opened these two doors. It doesn't matter which door you go through because they both lead to exactly the same place. That is actually one room back there. So right now, this is actually where I'm going to leave the video. And the next video will be the last video of Babylon is Fallen. So... I can't wait to see you for the climax of the game and take care, see you soon.